Back in 2008, we started being interested in analyzing the failure of fiber bundles in a composite. One thing we noticed was that the failure surface was self-similar across a wide range of scales. We then looked back at translaminar fracture surfaces in cross-play laminates and noticed that there too, there were several scales in the fracture surface. One implication of this is that in larger bundles or in thicker zero-degree ply blocks, more scales can be fitted. This suggests that there should be a size effect in the strength and in the toughness of fiber bundles and of zero-degree plies that is related to the formation of these statistically self-affined structures. These observations led to the idea of representing the fiber bundles hierarchically. This representation was naturally suited to yield analytically the stochastic strength distribution for a bundle with a given number of fibers from simple fiber matrix and interface properties. On its own, this stochastic size-dependent strength model was something new. But we then thought, what if we postulated a quasi-fractal morphology for the fracture surface and then calculated its dimensions at each scale using the previous strength model and fracture mechanics? This would define the fracture surface entirely, which would then allow the calculus of the energy dissipated in creating it. The model we developed following this approach is the first to predict the size-dependent translaminar fracture surface from constituent properties. In fact, this model can be used not only for structural design, but also for material development, since the predictions are obtained from fiber, matrix and interface properties.